Hello YouTube, this is Engineer Pad 5290 uh, live inside my kitchen and now today we're going to be re, um, constructing an 8x10 frame out of pieces of half inch plywood and a piece of very thin piece of plexiglass. Um, I have already done the cutting of the pieces now, the plexiglass was already cut from an earlier project that I did not use and just happened to have a little bit left over. So. I have cut all the wood pieces, and here's what you're going to need. You're obviously going to need the frame pieces and the piece of plexiglass, the tape measure to cut your pieces, and you're going to need some clamps in order to glue. Now obviously, you're going to need Type-On. Type-On is one of the best glues that's out there, and it's probably some of the best glue you'll ever use in your life. For all you Elmer's users, you can probably stop using Elmer's after this project. And of course you're going to need the hammer to hang up, to hang up the picture, which we'll get to two later. And we're also going to be needing some glass cleaner and a paper towel. Make sure the towel is dry. Make sure it has not had any contact with metal or else it will scratch the glass. Okay, the dimensions of the frame are seven and three quarters by ten. Actually it's hmm, not another quarter, my fault. And as you can see I have measured these carefully to line up exactly because you need to make room for the side piece. Okay, this is just a regular standard dry fit of your pieces. You need to do this before every project. I might have to go out and trim some pieces here for too long. See you want to have three pieces ready to go because when you actually do the project you want to have enough room to slide your picture in or pictures it doesn't matter. But here's what you need to do this time. Open up your glue Cap is open. Now what you want to do is take the end piece and squirt some glue on it. Make sure your tip is clean. My tip is not clean. Scrape it off. See I'm putting on just enough to cover the ends where where it will make contact. Let me put a little bit of glue there. And the best thing to do is take the glass off of the pieces, so you'll have so you'll have room to not only glue the pieces but to not ruin the glass. All right. I have it all set in place. Now it's time for the clamps. Slide this on carefully. Make sure it's obviously square and plumb on one side. Then you do the same thing on the next side. You get a little bit of glue on your counter. It's okay. Just use a little napkin and some glass cleaner to get it up. Takes up glue in just a matter of seconds. Now next, you take the next piece. Hmm. Got a little bit of glass cleaner. Let me put an extra dab on there. Line up plumb with your fingers, then take the clamp, line it up carefully, carefully squeeze it, you can see right there it's very plumb. I believe this is cedar wood, I'm not really sure but it sure does smell like it. I'm not going to risk staining it just because 
of the what of what type of wood it is. But see, those are the pieces that I have installed currently. That's according to my mock-up here. And for tie bond, it's usually 30 minutes with clamp pressure. It sets very fast. And now while that glue is drying, if I can pick it up, we're going to go ahead and clean our piece of plexiglass. And this is a piece of very thin plexiglass too. You don't really need something huge. Uh, I know some frames have like half inch glass or quarter inch glass. To me, that's too heavy. I had to glue a piece of a piece of thick glass on one frame. I mean, it's heavy. Most frames nowadays are going with lighter glass or they're going with plexiglass. The best thing about plexiglass is it doesn't break, it doesn't shatter. So we're going to go ahead and clean our piece of plexiglass. For a little bit of glass cleaner, if it's in an aerosol, it only takes a few squirts. It doesn't take a whole lot. Let it sit on there for a couple seconds and just move it around in circles. Okay? It gets up all the dust that may be on it from cutting it. It also gets up all the dried glue. Let's see. I'm just being very, very delicate with this. And usually it dries pretty quick. Two or three more squirts on the other side and scrub it in a circular motion like I'm doing right now. All right, now we see the piece of plexiglass is clean. So what you want to do is you want to get it away from everything else like I have right now. And just a quick tip, as you can see this area is pretty clean. The tools are set on one side and everything else is set on the other side. You want to keep a very nice clean job site for every job you do. Make sure all your tools get picked up after each job. And make sure they're in a ready access place where you can access them quickly. So anyway, that concludes the part that we can do right now. Um, I will be waiting for this glue to dry and I'll be checking back with this in just a little bit. And uh, we'll go from there. I'll let you look at the mock-up one last time. As you can see, these are the extra long clamps. And they are very good for big projects like this or anything else that's big. And remember to wipe off the excess glue, and you're set for right now. This is the last piece we have the glue in, and then we will have to do the plexiglass. So anyway, that concludes part one of this project. I'm Engineer Pat 5290, and I'll see you in just a little bit.